Welcome to Pistols and Solutions. Five days ago, I got a message on Twitter from someone named Sorn, who asked, can you make a video about the Mensa Denmark IQ test, Puzzle 32, and go in depth on it? It's really hard. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. But first, I just wanna give a short update. I finally finished my last exam for the semester, and I will try to publish videos frequently during my Christmas break. Tomorrow, I will start working on a full IQ test video. But if you have any suggestions, either send it to me on Twitter or comment down below on this video. I will make a list over all the suggestions I've gotten so far and turn the best ones into videos. But yeah, let's go through puzzle 32 from Mensa Denmark. Here we have the puzzle. I think most people, including myself, would look at this puzzle and try to find out what changes as you move to the right in a row or downwards in a column. But instead, I want everyone to focus on what stays the same between every picture in a row or a column. If you look at the first row, we have this line, which is the same in every picture. In the second row, we have these two lines, which is the same in every picture. And in the third row, we have these two lines, which is the same in the two first pictures. We can clearly see that there is this pattern of the top right and the bottom left line staying the same in the rows. If we look at the third row, we should have the same repetition in the answer as we have in the two first pictures. Out of the eight answers, only answer A and answer H features this repetition, so we can eliminate all the other answers. Next, let's focus on the columns, and more specifically, what stays the same in each column. In the first column, we have this line, which stays the same in every picture. In the second column, we have these two lines. And in the third column, we have these two lines, which is the same in the two first pictures. Notice how in the columns, the top left and bottom right line stays the same, while in the rows, the top right and bottom left line stays the same. To solve the puzzle, we know that the answer will have the same repetition as we can see in the third column. Out of the two answers left, only answer A has this repetition. Answer A is the correct solution. To show my solution visually, let's copy paste answer A into the matrix. In the rows, we have these repetitions, which are marked in green. And in the columns, we have these repetitions, which are marked in purple. Hopefully, everyone watching will understand how this puzzle works now. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you again in the next puzzle.